Hey people, it's Nice Stoky, and I'd like to thank all you good products for po uh, posting about this. So this is from DW.com. This is another Black Heroes video. This is Hendrik Witboy, a strategic political fighter known by his people as Nanseb Gabe Gab Mab, the snake in the grass. Hendrik Witboy rallied his Nama people to rise up in a guerrilla war against the German imperialism in what is today in Namibia. What, when did when Hendrik Witboy live? Hendrik Witboy was born around 1830 in Pella, a district in what which is today is part of the Northern Cape of South Africa and borders Namibia. Witboy came from a long line of chiefs of the Witboy Nama, a previously nomadic tribe belonging to the Khoikhoi people of southwestern Africa. In 1863, the Witboy Nama moved to an area that became known as German Southwest Africa, now Namibia. There, Hendrik Witboy received formal education by German missionaries. He later resettled to the mountains southwest of Windhoek, establishing and leading a well-ordered Nama community. He died on October 29, 1905, at the village of Valgras, in a battle against German colonizers. What was Hendrik Witboy known for? He was known for his sharp mind, his early recognition of the menace of colonialism, his call for warring, warring tribe, um, African tribes to unite against the German colonizers. The Nama were few in number and poorly supplied compared to the German troops, but Witboy's tenacious tactics earned him the title Nanse Gay Gabamap, or the snake in the grass. He was respected by the Germans. The colonial administrator of German Southwest Africa, General Ludwig, wrote to Witboy, I still see him before me, modest yet self possessed, loyal yet not. Loyal, yet not without political cunning, never deviating from what he considered his duty or his right. Whitboy communicated extensively with other African and European leaders, and UNESCO has registered his letters and diary, written in Dutch, a world documentary heritage. How did Hendrik Whitboy become a symbol of united resistance? As the Germans claimed more and more territories in southwest Africa, Hendrik Whitboy wrote to the chief of the neighboring Herero tribe, although the Nama had fought fierce wars against the Herero, Whitboy called for the two groups to stop fighting and to unite against the colonizers. The alliance was largely unsuccessful. Just over a decade later, the Germans decimated the Herero and Nama in massacres, considered in the United Nations report as one of the earliest cases of genocide in the 20th century. However, Whitboy's call for uni unified resistance cemented his reputation as a great leader. But didn't Henry Whitboy have a cozy relationship with the Germans? In 1893, German troops attacked Whitboy's mountain community, killing mainly women and children. After this, Whitboy signed a protection treaty with the Germans. For the next decade, he collaborated with the colonial authorities, even supplying troops for battles against other tribes. He reportedly had a cordial friendship with German Lutwein, but in 1904, Whitboy launched a Nama uprising against the German occupiers, leading the guerrilla resistance for a year before being fatally wounded. What are some of Hendrik Whitboy's famous remarks? We did not give our land away, and what has not been given by the owner cannot be taken by another person. When one chief stands under the protection of another, the underling is no longer independent and is no longer a master of himself or of his people and country. Before he died on the battlefield, Whitboy is said to have called for peace. It is enough. The children should now have rest. How is Hendrik Whitboy remembered? Hendrik Whitboy remains an honored figure on Namibia's path to independence, pathway to independence, which the country finally achieved in 1990. His face decorates Namibia's $50, $100, and $200 banknotes, and his revolutionary spirit and role in taking up arms against German imperialism and defending his country is still taught and recognized in Namibia schools. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, I'll leave my GoFundMe in the description. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave that there as well. Peace.